Welcome to this new video of the Gelato Expert Academy. Today I will show you something very interesting, a sorbet made with a grape that is not usual grape, but it's called Isabella grape, or American grape because it comes from North America. However, it's very, very popular in Italy, especially for home used and home wine production. In Italy we call it uva fragola, which means strawberry grape, because of the strong aromatic notes that has of wild strawberries and berries. This is also used to make a homemade wine called Fragolino, which has the flavor of the grape and the berries, uh, but it's not allowed for uh, selling, so it's only for home use and you can find all in uh, home traditions. The process to make uh, the sorbet is a bit complex uh, to deal with the grape, so we'll go through the steps uh, and see the results. We now wash very well our grapes and remove possible insects. Now the first step to deal with Isabella grape is to cook it down, because we want all the juices that are in the skin to go in the juice of the pulp. So I'm gonna put it in a food processor, but of course you can also cook it uh, on a pot or wherever you want. We need to leave apart all the green part, so we are sure that the grape is clean and we don't put any insects or we don't give bitter taste. Now we are going to cook the grape so that all the juice in the skin releases the color and the aromas. Uh, this is basically the process of pressing when you make grape juice to make wine, but we are going to accelerate it and make it in this way. Now that sour grape it's been cooked to 95 degrees, we can pass it through the juice extractor to remove all the skin and the seeds. juice is completely extracted and it also has cooled down to room temperature. We can check it in the refractometer to check for the sugar content. I have an optical refractometer and a digital one. We can check with both to see if there's any difference. It's important that the juice is at room temperature because these are calibrated for room temperature. In the optical one it's not really easy because the, the juice is quite thick but it's for sure above 20 bricks, which means more than 20% of sugars. So we are going to check also in the digital one. We let it turn on, then we put just a little drop. Close it, measure, and it says about 25%. Uh, which is quite high, obviously this is as if, if it was all sucrose, in reality there's not only sucrose in uh, grape juice, there's uh, a lot of dextrose, uh, but we're going to take it as a measurement anyway. Now we can make our recipe and produce the gelato. Now we have all our ingredients ready. If you want to learn how to create recipes like this one, you can check out in the description the link to our Gelato Expert Academy, where you can learn everything about gelato making and recipe formulation. Now, what we have in this recipe? Of course, we have the grape juice that we prepared. Then we have uh, sucrose, dextrose, dry glucose syrup, some fibers and a stabilizer. All these ingredients, they work uh, cold, so we don't need to heat them. We will just mix them all together and blend them properly. We also have a little bit of lemon uh, just to keep the acidity and the color uh, perfect, otherwise this will turn easily blue. Now we have here our recipe for two kilos in the Gelato Expert uh, app, which is called Gelato Passport Plus. If you want to use the app, check out the link in the description as well. Okay, so let's start with the powders. Let's start with sucrose. Then we have dextrose. 
Then we have dry glucose syrup. Okay, the last powder that we have is the stabilizer and we use this uh, clean label stabilizer from Essenza. You can find the link in the description. Powders are together. We just give a little mix because I want to put everything in one container. Perfect. Then we can add this fiber, which is uh, a, a fiber syrup also from Essenza, it's called the Lessenza, you can find the link in the description. Uh, this is not un inulin, it works a bit better, but it's liquid. And I just want to give a bit more smoothness and body my grape juice. In this recipe I decided to put 60% of juice, it's quite a lot, but I want it very intense. Finally, we add the water with some lemon. Now we can just mix everything. Okay, now that our mix is ready, we can freeze it. Here we have a uh, Tritico Bravo. You can find the link in the description. This is a combined machine, meaning that has a pasteurizer on the top and a batch freezer on the lower part. In this case, we are not going to pasteurize it because everything is already blended and the grape has been already cooked. So we are just going to put it in the freezer part. And then we have our blast chiller that is already in temperature to stabilize the gelato after extraction. Now I can turn on the machine and this machine has this part for the hot pasteurizer and this part for the batch freezer. It has several different programs. I will let it go to an automatic program that basically measures the amount of ice that is in the sorbet and decides automatically when it's ready. Okay, we can start. The gelato is ready. We can then open the door, start extracting it, then push the extraction, and also push the rapid extraction. Now we can put it in the blast chiller and it's ready. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the science, in the recipe creations and everything regarding professional gelato and ice cream making, check out the Gelato Expert Academy, link in the description. See you in the next video.